my back. As you can see, I'm out on the yard with the harvester because uh, where is it? Right here. This is staying zero. That's my preset. But the measuring wheel is not working. I knew that there was a wire that hose the wiring harness goes through that hose and right in there I think it got pinched so the measuring wheel had been acting funny but if I turn the head if it if I turn the head too far this way and those hoses wrap around for whatever reason it make the measuring wheel not work if I turned it this way and the hoses moved those pulled it that way it would be fine and it was fine most of the time but I think this cold morning finally made that wire in there that's probably brittle enough that it broke off so it's a Monday so I'm gonna go home and get my service trailer I gotta take that panel off and I figure if I'm gonna change the harness today I'll I've got a few other things to do so maybe I'll be back box where all the wires come in that's the main or the jib boom junction box and then the other junction box is in there before it goes to the measuring wheel into the saw sensor so now to figure out which wires are what all right there's the junction box junction box here's the schematics this, this side is the is where the harness comes from the measuring wheel and then this side is where this main thick harness comes up from the other junction box on the boom so what I've got to do is basically and they've got more wires in here than you need because it comes with encoders and both feed wheels which nobody uses so I can take those off and then um, which which I believe all the um, encoder stuff is up here and then this is the saw sensor and there might be a few other things here the proxy sensor for the saw which tells the computer that the bar is in so anyways um, I gotta figure this out and then I believe it's this harness that I have to replace so I might be back or I might not but um, Actually, I probably will, so we'll catch you in a few. So looking at the diagram a little more, I, I am right. This bottom section of the junction box is the saw sensor roller clamp valve and um, something else. Um, anyway, so it should be good because I believe here, I got to cut all these zip ties, but which means that this is a big thick cable which if you see these smaller well like that cable right there it's not very big that's all I'll have to feed through it comes in through these hoses that's all I'll have to feed through I could probably pull it through with this old um, wiring harness without having to maybe take this whole thing out and that's a pain that butt to feed it through the head so we'll see how it goes but because I won't need most of the cables in that because I don't need those other two encoders hooked up. So hopefully that works out the way I think. So I'm back and I believe I've unhooked. These are the two encoders that go to there that I don't need these wires. That should be the independent measuring wheel that's that actually measures that I use to measure logs. So um, disconnected these two right here, huh? where is this other one? Right here, these two. Now I'm just <laughs> making a careful look at, so it's, get out of here. It's, it's, these four wires, 
this one right here is a spare, so that's not being used. So it's one, two, three, four. That hook to those that run the independent measuring wheel. And the rest of these wires, we don't even use them. This thing was set up with a, it, it's wired in like it has a diameter reader, but it doesn't. And I think, I'm not sure if you add it on or it never got used because it's not accurate with these things. This is not the most high tech technology. So you don't need any of this stuff. So I don't know why they wire it up um, for all this stuff. If you don't, if nobody uses them, why don't they just leave the four wires? Anyways, another rant there. So I'm just making sure because the new harness that I'll put in will have these colors. It'll be different colors than this, so I'm just kind of making sure in my mind before I go hacking anything else that I get it right from the junction box up on the boom to here. So, alrighty, I thought I'd show you guys that. So I'm back. Um, I just figured I'd show you what I did to double check what I was doing before I started really uh, cutting or trying to get the harness through. So. What I did was, is I pretty much figured out for the most part. So instead of hacking, what I did, this is the, what's hanging in here is the, is the new harness I bought. So what I did was, is I hooked it up to there. And then up here was where I was getting confused. So I hooked it up with the way the way I thought it should go before I did anything else and I just tried it and it worked so now I know how that's supposed to get hooked up so what I've got to do now which could be more of a pain than anything is get this harness through through this hose back up back up into the junction box and then once once that's done, we're kind of in the clear. So figured I'd show you that. So I've got it figured out, and we should be all set. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. I, I have I have done this before, and it, it can be not a lot of fun. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I've got it figured out. So like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll catch you later. All right, well, it's the end of the day now, and I just finally finished up, put that guard back on, put the cover back on the junction box, and the junction box up there before I put that guard on. Everything's working. The only real pain in the butt was, oh, that's the old harness, and it's, it's run through like a heater hose. And I just could not get any of this stuff. I, w I was hoping I'd be able to pull the new harness in through that, but I couldn't. So I had to go get a new one. And I had to go to three different shops because everybody was out of heater hose for whatever reason because I needed it. And uh, that was a big, and the biggest pain in the butt was getting the cable through there. Oh my God. But I had to keep whipping the. The hose and keep feeding it in inch by inch and finally got it so i just have to put this wrap back on there and that's it i'm gonna pack the service trailer up and uh go home for the day so she's ready to roll